Lovely people, we're gonna do how to cook the perfect tuna steak. Two very, very different tasting basic ways to cook a tuna steak. The pan seared is really delicious, more caramelized. The chard is much more nutty and it's got that little bitter edge that works really well with the lemon juice and the sweetness of the tuna. I wanna cook both so you can make your own mind up which, which one you think you might fancy. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. This is from the Maldives. It's lime caught, so very sustainable. It is important when we're buying fish, not just to buy the freshest and the best, you do want to make sure that you're not wrecking the sea doing it at the same time. In England, uh, we have MSC approved, which has a little logo that looks like that. Uh, but in every country, it's slightly different. So do a little bit of Google research and you'll find out. Uh, get yourself a nice, sharp, long knife. Uh, thickness wise, if I was to cut it like this, it's just going to cook so quickly, it's going to be overcooked. If you go to the Mediterranean, Spain, Italy, France, they never overcook their tuna, they never do. You can have this raw, you can have it as a carpaccio, you can have it as a tartare. I wanna go for a minimum of a two centimeter thickness slice. So I'm gonna slice, nice long movements, don't sort of jig it about. It's very easy to cut. What we're gonna do here um, is just put our steaks to the side and I'm gonna do a little rub. It's very, very simple. Uh, I'll get a little teaspoon of coriander seeds, uh, a good pinch of salt, okay, maybe two of those, uh, a pinch of fennel seeds, absolutely beautiful, and a seedy flavour. The coriander seed is more sort of savoury, and pepper. So we're just going to pound that up, cracking it, smashing it. You don't have to get it super fine either. So it doesn't take much time to get to that, which is lovely. And if you taste it, it's just a lovely, quite balanced seasoning. So just season the board. Pick up your steak and just plop it onto it like that. This kind of basic seasoning gives a little crust uh, and, and flavouring to the tuna, which is just divine. Very subtle. Now, all I would do now is a tiny little massage up uh, of olive oil. Just a little pat around the edges, just like that. Here, we have got a bunch of pans that are very hot. This is medium high. This is super high. They're both preheated. I want it frying. I want it searing, I want it charring, okay? So we ain't mucking about. So first up, I'm gonna put the tuna into the pan. Nice non-stick pan. Second up, we're gonna go onto the griddle pan and just touch it and push it down so it's fully in contact with the bars. A really important thing to mention here, guys, always with a griddle pan, never put oil in it, ever. Never, ever, ever, right? You want it screaming hot, you want it dry. If we look into the pans, you can see the effect of the heat on the fish. And you need to sort of recognise that that is the speed in which the heat is travelling through the fish. Now remember, we do not want to cook this all the way through. So look, it's had about a minute and a half, two minutes max. Uh, we're going to go to the charred one first. Look at that. Beautiful. Back in the pan. Let's go over now to the other pan. Right, now it's seared. We could just put a little oil in here just to really get it. Absolutely gorgeous. I've just done about a minute and a half on each side. This tuna is cooked. This is a nice opportunity just to drizzle in good oil again. Any meat or fish that comes off the grill or off the oven, you know, is going to start to want to really dry up. Okay, so a little drizzle is always good. I'm letting this tuna just rest for a minute. Also, I'm just going to have a little lemon to protect the fish and to season it as well. That, if you look into the, the heart of that, so we're just gonna tear it, and I like to tear it, not slice it. That's what I would call perfect. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing again with the seared one. We've got that lovely caramelized sort of cap, and you get that from the contact of the pan. Just gonna tear that open again, absolutely gorgeous. So there you go, lovely people. Two beautiful ways to cook a tuna steak. Uh, of course, if you want to cook it more, please do, but I wouldn't advise it. This tuna is so gorgeous, it's so meaty, it's so delicate, it's very delicious as well. I'm serving this today with a beautiful uh, mixed tomato salad. If you want to know how to make the perfect tomato salad, then just click on the link over here and you can go through to my new video. Take care guys, lots of love, until next time, bye! Keep the comments coming in, we love reading your comments. If you like this video, then share this on your social media because that's what it's all here for. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, it's free. Just press that button, go on, up there, press it, yeah.